Dr. Karushma Dahi, how are you? I am fine. How are you? Well, you and I make a pair with the names, Valder Bibi and my guest, Dr. Karush Madahi. He's here to discuss why our diet is so important to the overall care of our mouth and some of the best oral practices we need to practice. Dr. Karush, okay, uh, we, in the recent years, you know, I'm going to the dentist and they're taking my blood pressure. So obviously they found a link in my teeth and the rest of me. Can you explain what they're doing there for oral care? Yes, yes. Uh, so first of all, you have to know that uh, for the past 20, 30 years, there's been so much research in terms of the connection between oral health and whole body health. And some of that connection is um, gum disease can uh, cause cardiovascular disease, kidney issues, colorectal cancer, um, uh, early term uh, pregnancy, so premature babies, um, Alzheimer's. So there's a whole host of connection between the mouth and the whole body. So also checking your blood pressure to make sure that some of the anesthetics that are being put in your mouth does not um, harm your body in a way that your blood pressure goes too far high that ca may cause any heart attack or stroke or anything like that. So body and whole, uh, the mouth and whole body is all connected to each other. And that's a key point to remember. That's a great explanation, things that I'm thinking people have never heard about the connection. Okay, let's move to diet. Why is our diet important? Yeah, so whatever we put in our mouth, whatever we eat is what who we are, right? So it's very important to know that the gateway to the body is the mouth and what are we putting in our mouth. So when you're using products that have a lot of pesticides, these pesticides are destroying the good bacteria in our mouth, and then they go in and destroy the uh, bacteria in our, in our gut. Um, alcohol, um, use of uh, hormones in the meat and antibiotic in the meat is also altering our oral for, uh, flora and also gut flora. So it's a key and a very important part of it is to make sure that whatever we're eating is a, in a healthy manner that is providing proper nutrients to our body and is not destroying our first line of defense, which is our you, microbiome. You know, you've just made the case for mind, body, and spirit that we're, it's all connected. It's not separate. I, I like your explanation. Tell me what the word microbiome is in relation to me or my listening audience and our diet. Sure. So first of all, microbiome is a series of microorganisms, mainly made out of good bacteria, that are there to protect us against infection and disease. So if you go back and look at how did we survive for thousands of years without modern medicine, the first line of defense was the microbiome. Where is the microbiome? It covers our skin, covers our eyes, nose, ears, mouth, gut, birth canal. So uh, if you look at it, the reason why you don't get eye infection all the time or ear infection all the time is mainly because of the microbiome that is there to protect us. So what is the microbiome? How is it protecting us? The microbiome, number one, is taking up real estate, is covering the surface. And by covering the surface, it doesn't leave any room for bad bacteria and viruses to come in, adhere to the tissue, and grow. When we go and use products that have antibacterial ingredients or antiseptic mouthwashes that kill 99.9% .9 of the germs or toothpaste, what we're doing, we're destroying this real estate, which means that we leave space for the virus and the bad bacteria to come in, adhere to the tissue, and grow. And that's what we need to stop by using these types of products. Okay, uh, I don't have enough time. I'd love to spend uh, like an afternoon with you and ask you all my questions. You get such great <laughs> answers. But, you know, uh, uh, people still are wearing masks, and I'm thinking they should be using hand sanitizers. Could you just touch on that a little bit for me? Yeah, so hand sanitizers, if there is any way to wash your hands with soap and water, is the best way to get rid of anything, any of the germs. Hand sanitizers destroy the microbiome on your hand. It all penetrates your body through the pores that is on your hands. Uh, wearing mask has to be limited in areas where you are in close contact with others. 
just wearing a mask, you are increasing the uh, carbon dioxide that you're inhaling. So wearing it all day long could also create some health hazards. So we have to be very careful and, and frequent change of mask is also key because masks become contaminated. More importantly, masks also cause dry mouth. So what we are seeing in our offices is when people are returning from the pandemic, they are what we call mask mouth, which is they have a lot of cavities in their mouth. And we also have um, uh, inflammation and bleeding gums due to the dry mouth that was caused by wearing the mask. So frequent visits to the doctor, oral hygiene habits and proper mouthwash uh, products that I have created called Lumino that does not kill the microbiome, protects the mouth and freshens the breath is the key. I love that. I want my audience to remember that Dr. Karush, he's a dentist and he's a best-selling author. Dr. Karush, and I heard you got some products. Where can we go and find out more about those products? Yes, the products are called Lumino. Um, you can, we just uh, launched in Walmart. Uh, we're also on Amazon, Walgreens, uh, Sprouts, Whole Foods. Uh, best way is to go on luminohealth.com and find the store near you. I want to thank you so very much for educating me and my audience about dental health. It's really important. And you got to come back because we didn't talk about people putting off those long dreaded appointments during the pandemic, and they really need a checkup with their dentist. Thanks for being my guest on the Velder BB Show. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I partnered with WPS for BB Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books, books that inspire me, and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe and I'll see you for the next BB Summer Book Giveaway.